Isa sa mga naghahari at kinakatakutan noon sa featherweight division ay ang Cuban boxer na si Yuri Orkis Gamboa. Gamit ang kanyang bilis at lakas nitong sumuntok ay talaga naman nakakaalupa na oring lumaban itong si Gamboa. Naging WBA regular featherweight world champion si Gamboa noong 2009 matapos ma-promote ng Indonesian boxer na si Christian bilang WBA super champion sa featherweight division. Naging unified WBA at IBF featherweight world champion naman si Gamboa noong 2010 matapos nitong talunin ang Mexican boxer na si Orlando Salido sa pamamagitan ng unanimous decision. Matapos makapagtala ng dalawampung magkakasunod na panalo sa featherweight division, ay umakyat na sa super featherweight division si Yuri Orkis Gamboa noong 2011. Dito nga ay una niyang nakaharap ang Mexican boxer na si Daniel Ponce de Leon kung saan tinalo nga niya ito sa pamamagitan ng 8th round technical decision. Sa pangalawang laban ni Gamboa sa Super Featherweight Division ay dito nga nakaharap ng Cuban boxer ang ating kababayan na si Michael Hammerfist Pareñas. Ang kanilang bakbakan ay ginanap noong December 8, 2012 sa MGM Grand Las Vegas kung saan paglalabanan nila ang interim WBA Super Featherweight World Title. Bago ang laban ay may malinis na kartada noon si Yuri Orkis Gamboa na 21 wins si Rulos at may 16 KO Habang ang ating kababayan naman na si Michael Fareñas ay may record noon 34 wins 3 losses 4 draw at may 26 KO Sa unang round pa lang ay umaatikabong suntukan na agad ang ating masasaksihan Boxing political juxtapositions as Mitt Romney has now met 50 cent <laughs> So while it may have been an uneventful undercard in the ring Outside the ring, it's been very eventful and fun to watch. We see the Hammer Ferreiras with a set of Pacquiao-like calves. Let's see if he has Pacquiao-like skills and power. Very fast mover, Yuri Orcas Gambo. At 130 pounds. Well, if he goes to 135. <laughs> well, I don't know if he's going to be able to find him or not because the hand speed, you got to have some feet to find him. Gambo a 5 of 54, Morena's 4 of 24. The kind of busy, oh, no, fast-handed no, no, no. fighter is very unusual coming off the Cuban uh, amateur program. But now he seems to be reverting to uh, the Cuban style. Buck, his knees were buckled just then. I told you last night, you better be very careful coming up to handle because the handle is throwing. Good body shot by Farinas. Now Gambo is starting to land and find the target. Well, that shot apparently woke him up. He goes to the body, he stopped, he stopped Farinas because he hurt Farinas really bad with a good body shot. A good body good shot. Body shots indeed by Gamboa. Oh, good. This time Farinas takes it pretty well and comes back. Fights in a south cross dance. A strong hand, the right hand in front. Ooh. Matapos tamaan sa panga ay bumagsak ang ating kababayan sa round 2, ngunit agad naman itong nakatayo. Gamboa doesn't know what 
to do when he sees both eyes bloody. Good body shot. You can bring reinforcement into the ring. <laughs> Sa pagpapatuloy ng laban ay makikita ang tinatamaan ni Pareña si Gamboa dahil nga nakababaan depensa nito at umaasa lang ito sa bilis ng kanyang pag-ilag sa mga suntok. so much attention from the boxing world. Two pretty powerful headbutts, and in both instances, it was Farinas who was cut, not Gamboa. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, so I've got a five rounds to one, 59, 54. New York is Gamboa. He's just landed too many clean shots. Farinas there. Oh. Matapos mapahawak sa lona sa round seven, ay binilangan ng referee si Pareñas. Ngunit ganun pa man ay walang takot pa din itong nakipagsabayan kay Gamboa. Matapos matimingan ang solidong suntok sa panga ay bumagsak si Gamboa sa round 9 at makikitang nahilo ito. Like like 
but not going to the guy's body. Gamboa thought he was about to finish the fight. Flurrying against Marinas on the ropes. Boom. Tremendous left hand counter shot. Once again, an overhand left came from out of nowhere. He was not ready for it. He never thought Farinas was going to punch back. Perfect shot for Farinas. Gamboa has had two knockdowns. You know, it's interesting that knocked out of Ron Lott. Not only did he hit him with a great left hand, he kicked him. 7 to 2 Gamboa. Taking his time. Through two, two body shots, it would have been over with for Farinas. Another straight left hand for Farinas. And again, Gamboa leaving himself wide open. Suddenly, Gamboa puts his right hand up next to his chin. Oh, good hook by Gamboa. Good right hand by Gamboa. And everything that he's thinking about doing. about this tape, but maybe he's waiting until the end of the round. It's been far more entertaining than the other two fights we covered on the undercard, and there's a nice little clock. Higher marks than was expected, put it that way. No, 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 no. But it shows you that he's tiring out. His legs, despite all that musculature, he's taking about 170 punches from Gamboa. Decision now the interim champion, still undefeated El Ciclón de Guantanamo, Yorioque Gamboa. Bagamat natalo ay maganda naman ang ipinakitang laban ng ating kababayan na si Fareñas. At sa laban ngang iyon ay nalaman ng marami na kailangan lang timing ang si Gamboa para mapabagsak ito. Dahil nga lagi ring nakababa ang depensa nito. Kaya naman sa laban nila ni Terence Crawford noong 2014 para sa WBO Lightweight World Title, e eh bagamat mabilis nga itong si Gamboa, ay natimingan naman siya ni Crawford at tinalo nga siya nito sa pamamagitan ng 9th round TKO. Remember, there are stages in that round where I thought... Bago tayo matapos ay shoutout muna sa ating mga tagapanood. Hanggang dito na lang mga boss. Sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating video. Salamat sa panonood.